welcome to the video on writing playwright tests playwright assertions are created specifically for the dynamic web checks are automatically retried until the necessary conditions are met so assertions are basically to check if certain conditions are met or not for example we want a web page to contain a certain title to have a certain web element for that reason we can use assertions playwright comes with auto wait built in meaning it waits for element to be actionable prior to performing actions playwright provides test function to declare test and expect function to write assertions so we have two functions one is test and another is expect now we will learn how the example test works how to use assertions how to use locators how test runs in isolation and how to use test hooks the example test take a look at the example test included when installing playwright to see how to write a test using web first assertions locators and selectors so this is a uh, type type script initially we are importing two function that is test and expect from playwright test and this is where our test function starts home page has playwright in title and get started link linking to the intro page so this is the description of the test a sync page and here the body of the test function await till page goes to https playwright dev so this command will open playwright dev website second expect title to contain substring await expect the page to have title playwright so this is the same website playwright.dev so i'll open it so playwright opening after that expect title to contain playwright so this is the title of the page we are expecting it to contain playwright then create a locator constant get started page dot locator text is equal to get started so what does this mean we are creating a locator which has text equal to get started so we can see here the get started is present if we inspect we can see there are a lot of uh, there is a tag attribute and values such as tag is a anchor attribute class is equal to get started as john so this is a value class is attribute this is value again href is attribute this is value and this get started is the text so here we are saying text is equal to get started so automatically this web element will be uh, checked we are creating this locator now expect the attribute to be strictly equal to the value await expect get started to have attribute href which has value forward slash docs forward slash intro so as i explained this href is an attribute and this is the value so in this line of code we are asserting that the href should be strictly equal to docs intro click the get started link get started click so this uh, will simply click on the get started expect the url to contain intro await expect page to have url which contains a uh, dot star means it should contain it's a regular expression so it should just contain the intro it is not checking for any other part of the url so this is satisfying so the assertion is passed so this is the ex example test explanation add forward slash forward slash at the rate ts check at the start of each test file when using javascript in vs code to get automatic type checking so this is for javascript now the second part is assertions playwright test uses the expect library for test assertions which provides matches like to equal to to, con to contain to match to be and many more playwright also extends this library with convenience async matches that will wait until the expected condition is met so await expect the page to have title so this is one of the assertion to have title and this is the expected title that, that we seen here now next part is locators locators are the central piece of playwright's auto waiting and retry ability locators represent a way to find element on the page at any moment and are used to perform actions on elements such as click element fill the text box etc 
custom locators can be also created with the page locator selector options method so basically locators help us to uh, find an element based on various tag attribute value or various selectors now we can see constant get started page locator text get started so here we created this uh, element based on text which is equal to get started and await expect get started to have a certain attribute so this part of code we have already checked and then we are clicking on it. so basically when we see we go to the playwright dev you can see that there are many elements present here so one of them is get started that we check another if we see community right click and inspect then we can see that this is the web element a is the tag class is the attribute this is the value for the attribute again href is the attribute and this is the value and community is the text so suppose we i want to handle this element based on text then i can use community as a text so the next part is selectors selectors are string that are used to create locators playwright supports many different selectors such as text that we saw in case of get started as well as just now we saw it in the case of community and there are others as well like css xpath and many more so if you have worked on something like selenium or uft then you are already aware of this otherwise we are going to test them in detail in the next videos learn more about available selectors and how to pick one in this in-depth guide so playwright is also providing a in-depth guide on selectors which is present in the guide section and also they are providing one on the locators await expect page locator text installation to be visible so here we are using expect function that is we are going to assert verify that the page locator text is equal to installation is visible or not the next one is test isolation so here we observe that we are writing the test and we are providing the information about it and in the curly braces the test is starting so playwright test is based on the concept of text fixtures such as built in page fixture which is passed into your test pages are isolated between test due to browser context which is equivalent to brand new browser profile where every test gets a fresh environment even when multiple tests run in the single browser so every test is getting a fresh environment this is how playwright achieves test isolation the last one is now test hooks using test hooks you can use various test hooks such as test dot describe to declare a group of tests and test dot before each and test dot after each which are executed before or after each test so initially we see that we are writing something like this which is a test suppose we want to create one more test but we want it to run before every test so we can create something like test before each and if we want to run it after every test we will create after each so this is again very similar to the one that we have in junit we have tags or in test ng we also have tags so this is similar in the playwright and the uh, after each and before each it is self explanatory other hooks include include the test before all and after all so suppose i write five tests with different uh, different code inside of it then i can use test before all which will run only once before all the tests and test after all which will run only once after all the tests so this is about the test hooks here we can say that we are using test describe to describe the test and in the before each we are using the go to url before each test so there is no duplication of the code again and again we are using before each and the page will automatically open before each test then we can perform whatever actions we want to perform so this was all about the writing tests thanks for watching the video